Uh, hi, it's Briar. So I'm playing this game, Ratchet and Clank, A Rift in Time. And I'm at this part of the game, I'm, I'm at the part of the game where I'm in this, like, uh, I don't know, some sort of prehistoric swamp or something. And check out, check out this guy. Like, look at this dinosaur creature. He just looks amazing. Um, and I was like, oh, I should jump on his head. But it doesn't let you. See, you can't jump on his head. It's not part of the game. But I was like, oh my god, that would be awesome if I could. Because it, it just, like, that looks like so much fun. Oop, goodness, look at that. Um, also, this island that I'm on, I don't think there's anything on the island. Uh, there's no raritarium, raritorium, whatever it's called. There's nothing here. As far as I can tell. I we'll have to take a shrimp uh, off the island. On the map, the rara ter or no, it's the raritanium is actually the same color as the um, <clears throat> symbol for the uh, shrimp that you can ride. But uh, according to the map, there is some raritanium over here. Probably on this, or no, it's here. Over here. Oh shit, I mean that. Uh, looks like it's right over here. Um, here it is. Um, anything else I'm missing? Cool. Um, so, is there anything over here? Oh, I did need to check something. Forgot. So here, on this. Um, whatever you would call it. Uh, is, uh, nothing. There's nothing here, as far as... <clears throat> you know, I can't, I can't, I don't really see anything here, but I, I need to get to this other, um, what's it called? Um... Thing. And is there anything over here? I don't know, I might have to come back to this planet because, um, 
I'm kind of a completionist when it comes to games like this, especially Ratchet and Clank, because I love Ratchet and Clank games. Um, I feel like I have to get everything. Um, and you can see on the map that there's still a couple of things that I need to get on that map. But, um, you know, uh, this type of thing can be a little bit deceptive because sometimes there is no way to get this stuff. Like, there's no way to get onto this platform on the map that I'm hovering over on the map. Like, there's no way to actually get here at all. Um, I would need to get another ability or some type of item to do, to, to get there now. Um, which I can't get on this planet. Uh, did I say it was deceptive already? It's deceptive, you know? It's like they just want you to just be like, you know, playing the game for eight hours, trying to figure it out, when in reality there is no way at all. <clears throat> to to topiary sprinklers. Um, That's not even what makes me on. Then, not even two weeks later. All right, I have to get off this planet. I'm gonna lose my mind. If I don't leave. Swamp. What does, what does it say? Phantom, Phantom. Moy Doy, Captain, Captain Quantum, Quantum. Quantum. Clutch, Clutch. Hey. Attention, Attention systems. systems. I'm posting, I'm posting the Emperor's hit list to, to our network. network. Come, on. Come on, let's fix let's that communicator. Got a dimension to save before the Emperor, Emperor finds us too. Us. Um, I, I played all the original uh, Ratchet and Clank games for the PlayStation 2, what with the exception the of place? Ratchet Deadlock. Oh, wait, never mind. Come on, let's hear it. Hear it. I, I am, am feeling, feeling irresponsible for all of all this. this. Perhaps, Perhaps it's because, because of me that, that the dimensions are falling apart, apart that, that Ratchet and I are lost. lost. Oh. Yeah. Well? Hey, your hey, communicator's about to get fixed, fixed so that's... that's something? something? Uh, right. right. <laughs> Where am I now? Gastropub? So 
So I think you can go to different planets, or the planets that you already visited. Um, see, on this planet, I did get everything. On this planet, I still need to get a lot of stuff. And on this planet, I haven't gotten anything. <laughs> So, it's a tangled web we weave when we play video games. So, so this is a jerky chapter of Adam Battle Map, right? If anywhere in the universe will find a part to parse you up, it's you. I hope you are right. The destruction of the dimension of the seems to have caused a sort of dimensional chattacasimus. These guys look familiar. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hammer skin, default, old bubble gun. Uh, hold on. Wasteland. That looks kind of cool. Wait, wait, hold on. Q Force. Is that different than what, Q? Q Force. Here we go. It's green. Good, like this. Um, come on, I can change her, the color to a little bit. Go with uh, uh, purple. I feel like purple is a girly color. There we go, purple. And uh, I won't have anything on her. Oh shit! Let me do that. No, I like this game enough that I probably should um, literally uh, complete the game, like get everything that I can get in the game, totally. Um, I should completely complete the game, you know, like... Um, I don't think the game is actually that long of a game where I would need to like spend days and days and days and days, and days trying to get everything either. Um, you know, completing a game like this probably wouldn't take that long. And when I say completing, I don't mean, um, finishing the game, uh, I mean like getting everything that the game, all of the content in the game or whatever you want to say, all the gold, gold uh, bolts, all of the titan, ti raritanium, um, all of the uh, different outfits or uh, the different armor that the characters wear. Everything. Upgrade this a little bit right away. 
boom, 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 boom. Oh wait, did I get the gold bowl? Cool. Hold on. I didn't get it. Why didn't I get it? Um, so anyway, I, I was going to say something like, um, this type of game wouldn't really take that long to get everything in. A game like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas would take literal days, like, it would take probably 48 hours of continuous playing to get everything that the game um, has, uh, it, you know, all of the, um, I'm not sure what the word would be, all of the stuff that's in the game and, you know, to, but there's more than just stuff in, um, games um, if you complete a game it's kind of more than just getting all the stuff you also need to uh, like play the games that are within the games and do all the puzzles and just there's just so much that goes into completing a game that's so cool so you can go in through the portal and then go go behind the portal and step through um, from that side and you'll stay in this dimension but then if you go through the way you came you'll go to the original dimension you were in before that's awesome And so I think with these, um, with this part of the game, uh, these are called pocket dimensions. I don't think there's really much in this, these areas of the game, except for um, the thing that you're supposed to get. Like I was here to get that the helmet that I just got a second ago. But I don't think there's anything else here. Um, I don't think there's very much hidden stuff in the game either. Like, there's nothing that's really that secret in the game. Um, so this is where I started, I went through there. See, there's nothing else here that I can see. See, what's that? Nothing. Uh, and, uh, it says I got it. It's interesting, too, on the map, it actually says where the, uh, gold bolts are and the, uh, the, uh, other stuff, the, uh, rare titanium, the vendors, the objectives, and the ship. Um, in the older Ratchet and Clank games, it didn't say anything. Like, 
uh, especially the gold bolts. They, those were impossible to find, and they weren't on the map. Uh, so that's my ship. So what's this? Can I walk on this? I can. That's awesome. Is there anything down here? Why is it here then if there's something down here? I don't get this. Can I go down there? Kind of looks like I can. Nope. So what's what's the purpose of? Oh shit. So it looks like I got everything on this on this part of this map, or in this part of this map. So I can probably go to the next part. So the game doesn't really have like that, you know, kind of uh, role playing thing or that like, um, you know, it, it, it's, there's, it's not really a big aspect of the game where it's like you're trying to not spend the bolts that you earn or like you are not trying to spend the rare titanium that you earn or something like that. It doesn't seem like the buying guns and um, you know that kind of stuff is really that um, important. What? Where am I? Oh, I'm in a club again. Ha, huh, the lamb. Oh, I, I think the lamb is a reference to um, the lamb beam or the ship bow. The sheep. The sheep bow laser or whatever it was called. I totally just absolutely killed the name. That's not what it was called at all. But there, there was a gun. 
in um, the earlier games, which I was talking about before, where you could turn enemies into sheep. Look at that sheep. So cute. It's kind of funny how there's continuity in the game where you turn enemies into sheep in one of the games and there's sheep walking around subtly implying that the enemies you did turn into sheep are still sheep to this day. It's awesome. I doubt we have been so lucky. I think I'm gonna need to play this game a second time because I I really like this. Okay, hold on. If you go to the jukebox. The jukebox. Wow, there's a lot of songs. a chance I love this arena um, part of the older games too Oh shit, hold on. 